Today we are going to see single phase PWM inventor control module. So the model number is PEC 16M4 to do this experiment we need IGBT power module PEC 16M3 and also single phase PMW inverter control model PEC 16M4 and CRO and one resistive load and also inductive load and one multimeter to calculate the voltage and current before going to the experiment we should check the test point of single phase PMW inventor control model see see first test point waveform square wave generated from VCO across T1 and ground see the CRO is given see VCO here and ground so you are getting the waveform the square wave generated from VCO see next the counter output across ground and T2 and T3 you can see where the positive probe of CRO is in T1 and T2 see T1 and T2 to, uh, T2 and T3 and the negative both negative are in ground you can see the waveform test point waveform next the counter output across ground and T4 and T5 see T4 and T5 and ground and you are getting the waveform as in the manual book Now, E prom output signal across ground and T6 and T7. See, it is a square wave only, but some distortions here. See, here square wave and some gap are there. So, it is a square wave only. And E prom output signal across ground and T8 and T9. Refer reference voltage control signal across T10 and ground. Next reference signal across T11 and ground that is uh, sinusoidal reference. For this, you should adjust this amp adjustment and also the selection switch. First selection switch is sine wave, second is square wave reference, and third is trapezoidal reference wave. So you are getting first trapezoid that is uh, sinusoidal reference wave ground and T11 now you are going to adjust the selection shift for next so next is square wave you are getting square wave and next for trapezoidal wave So you are getting trapezoid. Now triangular carrier signal across C and ground. 
to CN ground. You are getting tri triangular carrier signal. Next is PWM output from comparator across ground and PWM1 and PWM2. Sinusoidal PWM. <coughs> so, so ground PWM1, PWM2. We are getting this type of wave that may be either square PWM or multiple PWM. Now connect the both the kit as per the diagram. You can see. This nine pin and this nine pin are connected. Okay. And here P1 and P2 are connected. And it is you can see P8 and P9 connected. And also this two that is P4 and P7 are connected. And the uh, load connection is given from P4, P4 and you can see P6. Load connection is given from this now coming to the exponent of single phase. PWM inverter control model. See, the aim is to study the operation of single phase sign PWM inverter operation using the kit. Apparatus required that is PEC 16M4 kit and PEC 16M2 kit or uh, M3 kit. CRO RL load, patch cards, 9 pin cable, and power cards. And this is the circuit diagram for that and uh, the formula to be used to calculate the output voltage and this is the connection uh, procedure it will be very simple And this is the experimentation procedure. You can see. Now for output current for sign PWM across load resistance. So only load resistance is connected. Readings from the CRO and the voltmeter. And you can draw the graph as the model graph. Thus the single phase PWM inverter control model is verified. The tabulation column of single phase PWM inverter is shown here. Sine wave amplitude, carrier wave amplitude should be found out. The carrier wave output should be taken by using the selection knob to sine wave and adjusting the amplitude adjustment knob and also the frequency adjustable knob. So first for getting a sine wave that is the carrier sine wave. So note down the the amplitude 
second you adjust the amplitude adjustment knob and take down the reading of the amplitude and for third reading you again adjust the amplitude adjustable button and take the amplitude so we have noted here that is 4 into 1 volt 3.2 into 1 volt and 2.2 into 1 volt next we should found, find out the sine wave amplitude that is the output of R load so this is the output of R load so here also you take the amplitude and for second reading adjust the knob uh, amplitude uh, adjustable knob and take the reading of amplitude for these three readings you are getting 54 volts the voltage is same for the three readings and this is the second uh, output of RL load so RL load so you see the output of RL load now uh, all the Tabulation is filled with the data by using the formula. We, we have calculated the modulation index, modulation index, output voltage, and VDC. And take VDC as 24 volt for calculation. Thank you for watching this video.